Welcome back to Home Lab Networks. My name is AJ, and this is another software server tour type thing. Most people know I I run three servers in the rack. So I've got server one and server two, server three. So this one's my. This was a PC that I put into a server case, pretty much. This one is my Dell Power, Power Edge server that does most of the work. It's an IBM. And this runs as my backup. Um, server. It's one still from the first video I did on this channel. This still runs with the Pi-Hole Pi server, which will go through these applications and how they run. But this um, runs my pi -hole server and for some reason it's running Parrot. Hack the box. I mustn't have turned it off. <laughs> um, I've done, an, I did a few upgrades on this one. Or a few, one I mean. Um, but it was running with a gig gigabyte of RAM. Now it's running with, well, there's 32 in the machine, but so 31 on here. And uh, I've left the hard drive. Up times 70 days, my god. And so that's, um, it's only job. It doesn't do a whole lot. It wastes power. I probably should go and turn it off. Server 3. So this machine does most of the work. Like, so this one's got the, the Plex server. Runs Pilot, it runs a Docker for my website that's still in the making, which has been for the last six months. I haven't done a whole lot with that. I've had a lot of things going on. I'll make a whole new video about that. This machine does most of the work. I probably should put Pile Pi Hole on this one. You can t already tell, like, the, my home lab stuff is literally for fun. Like, it's not really business or serious, it's just fun. So if something breaks, I need to. Reset the whole thing, wipe the machine, it's okay. Like, it's the only serious thing on this one's really my website. But that's why we run backups onto the Proxmox backup server, so server 3. And my storage is really, really low. Look, I need to get more drives, it's ridiculous. Even on my Synology, I'll show you that too. And the yeah, server 3 is all um, backups. So it um, backs up. All my virtual machines from server one and, and server two and backs up there once a day i believe or once a week one um so heimdall runs so this runs on the dell server and this runs on portana so heimdall we've done video on this i'll link it in the description but it's book, a bookmark interface pretty much and see all my servers my nas proxy manager etc so it's just a nice little neat bookmark collection. So that's that's um, one self-hosted service. So I'm a proxy manager. This one is the manager for my website that's in the making still. I'm getting there. <laughs> we'll click on this, I probably won't even work to be honest. It's been months since I've looked at this. Yeah, it's not even working. But anyway, this that's what I use Proxy Manager for. It was for my website that I will get around to one day. And this is cool because it gets your SSL certificates and it does everything as well. It's just awesome. So I run, there's also I've got Portana running. So again, look at this. So it runs Heimdall, it runs Peppermint. I was, that's a video I have done that should be released by the time this video is out. Uh, Guacamole, the Proxy Manager, Portator itself, Peppermint, and then Pinvin, that's a file browsing service. I did a video on, so you can check that out too. And I did a, I did a second Portainer, and I purposely did this one for when I made the video about how to host your own website. I just did a second one and started fresh. It was just a lot easier that way. One I run is Pilot. So it just keeps track on what devices are on your network, who's connected, how's the many connected, and if you want to, you can set up down alerts that can like be emailed to you or a message to your phone just to let, let you know. And it just tracks everything on your network from when they join to when they leave, their last last IP, when it gets a new IP, and all that type of stuff. So that's pretty cool. Okay, I, I keep that running 24/7. Pi-hole. This is probably my favorite one out of all. I don't know what it is. From the first time I installed this, I just, I don't know, I just love it. It's just, I think it's just so cool. 
and then it, everyone should know it's an ad blocker. Well, not a complete ad blocker, but it does a pretty good job of filtering out, out the ads. So, so I'm pretty impressed with Pongo still. It does a good job. Technology NAS. It's only a little baby one. It's not the best. But no, it's, I love Synology, it's so cool. I've done a, re a re review on this, so if you want to check that out, you can. But yeah, this, um, on my computer, as far as files and backups and stuff go, it goes on this NAS, um, and then I had a share, a share shared with Proxomox to back up all, all my virtual machines to this, but I had to get rid of it because my storage was full. I've only got 94 terabytes, I need a lot more than that. But I do eventually want to look into a bigger NAS, because this one's too small, and I just want a big one, because... Just to make my rack look a bit better. <laughs> but um, um, that's all, as far as self-hosted services and stuff, that's all my servers. I don't host a whole lot. Again, this is just a fun little project I wanted to do. Um, and at the moment, I just haven't got a lot of time to spend a lot of time in my home lab. It kills me sometimes, it absolutely kills me. But got other issues I need to get on top of first before we get back in the lab full time but I'm trying to keep up with videos I am doing my best um, but anyway um, I just want to thank you, you guys for all the views and subscribers they're very thankful it's awesome and I hope you guys enjoy this top video I've done a few software setups in the past not, not a lot has changed but I just wanted to do an update because I've got the face cam and all that type of stuff now so once again, thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.